You may have noticed that there are only a few passing mentions of the COVID-19 pandemic in my videos. No, I have not been living under a rock all these months. I've actually lived in my house all these months and tried to keep my sanity. Speaking of sanity, my favorite wife Jill and I recently made what we consider to be a sane decision to create more strength in our financial future. I'm going to share what we did in just a moment, but communication about retirement cannot ignore something as significant as a hopefully once in a lifetime event. So here are a few words about the pandemic as it may relate to your investments. Upon reviewing and updating my past guidance, I've left much of my original material alone because after boring myself with my thoughts yet again, I feel that the lessons prior to the year 2020 are still pretty relevant. Yes, the markets dropped significantly spring and summer last year, but the averages bounced right back. And if you stayed invested, you were probably okay. I continue to believe that the two other major declines this century, 2000 and 2007 to 2009, are better teaching lessons. For those declines, it took much, much longer to get back to even. The events of the last several months were a learning experience for me, as I'm sure they were for you. Just before the pandemic, I began using the words safety, simplicity, and strength in all my teaching materials over and over the same three words, safety, simplicity, and strength. I even went so far as to begin a class by saying, if you're not going for safety, simplicity, and strength in your financial life, you're on the wrong flight, like they used to do when you boarded an airplane. In this case, only one guy grabbed his carry-on and exited the classroom. Anyway, safety, simplicity, and strength. Safety is about being able to see the future with your eyes wide open. Too many people employ what we can call the ostrich approach, and they stick their head in the sand or turn their back and pretend the clock is not ticking. So safety is not only about protecting your nest egg in the conventional sense, but also about knowing what lurks around the corner. Simplicity? Simplicity is about, well, keeping things simple. Here's an example of how simple our lives have been since March 2020. We've been focused on washing our hands for more than two and a half seconds, keeping our distance, and wearing a mask even if it meant our glasses fogged up. Not recommended while driving. It's simple, right? Oh, oh, it got old after a while, and it's super old now. But it wasn't complicated. Your retirement strategy should also be simple and concise. Just protect your nest egg, create streams of income, and pay less income tax. Of course, investment choices have complexity, but the overall strategy should be simple. Strength is about making uncomfortable decisions that may feel undesirable in the short term, but offer the best chances for a favorable and comfortable long-term outcome. Our difficult decision involved a big house with lots of empty bedrooms. Specifically, we were conflicted as to whether we should sell our house and downsize or stay put. We ended up calling the moving company, but it was a gut-wrenching decision. For 25 years, we have lived in the Deerfield community, where we are adored by most everyone. That's a joke. But the reality is that we've been comfortable there. But we don't, we don't and we didn't need all that space. And you know what they say, right? Big house, big tax bill. With each passing day, it made less sense to stay. As I record this, Josh and Danny are living in the city. Unfortunately, despite having moved on, their stuff is still all over the place in our home. Is this some sort of gift for us? Do they think their possessions will magically disappear if they ignore them long enough? Wait, boys, boys, if you're watching this, please come visit. You can keep your stuff here. And Ben, our baby, is studying at the University of Illinois. He had a virtual internship last summer, and he's with us in our new digs when he's in town. Yes, our big move is to the very community where we both grew up. The next one over, we're a couple of thrill seekers. But here's the serious part. The last year has taught me that anything can happen, both personally and professionally. My primary means of meeting future clients is by teaching classes. 
And although most end well past my bedtime, I still do so in the name of financial literacy and because they should teach this stuff in school. When it comes to helping people, I prefer to gain trust and to build my business with an awkward mix of brains and quirkiness. Can you guess how many classes I taught during the pandemic in person? You guessed it, zero. Life can change in an instant. The remaining at our house was doable and the mortgage was low with an attractive refinance mortgage. Staying would not have been operating from a position of strength. Oh, it, it would have been easier, much easier. But these last few years have taught me that a little discomfort now for more comfort later is the better play. So we started packing. It's incredible. We had so much stuff. Everything I tried to discard was apparently from Joe's grandma. I didn't realize she had nine of them. Now as I type these words, we are fully ensconced in our new townhouse. And I realize these problems are first world, but I still have to deal with my life circumstances. Retirement can be complicated. It's the rest of your life after all. But that doesn't mean how you approach it has to be. So there you have it. That's how the pandemic has changed my thinking. Here's my final guidance for you on the subject. Stay safe, keep it simple, and always flex your muscles by operating from a position of strength. If you need help, I'm here for you. And as I always say, and this is really, really lame, you don't have to bulk up to have strength in retirement. The securement retirement process will do the heavy lifting for you.